Hi guys, Epsom Enthusiast here. I just wanted to run through a video of wiring up my Gorola uh, roller garage door to a Sonoff 4 channel Pro. Uh, I did have some fun with this, um, but I managed to get it working in the end. So I've got the Gorola garage door, which has got a, um, a dead man switch. So basically, you press one button for it to go up and it goes up all the way and for down you have to keep your finger on the button and if you release it then the garage door will stop going down it's called a dead man switch and i'll explain how i overcome that basically you've got the um the sonoff four channel pro here um i've taken power from uh, the live or line and neutral and i've taken that straight down from the power uh, that is going into the Gorola uh, control unit which in turn is coming off of a three pin plug so that's your power to power this unit then what i've done um i've actually went a bit crazy and started putting wiring lights into it and everything but basically um you've got your common um which is in the middle which i've done with the brown wire and I've put a loop over to here um, because I wanted to carry the power over to another circuit. Basically, for the Gorola garage door, bring those cables, so you've got the common and the um, NO, which is the neutral wire, if I remember rightly. I've brought that down, <clears throat> and in this block over here, which as standard with a Gorola garage door won't have anything in, you wire it into here. So you take the um, brown, goes to which is the common on the four channel pro, goes to the ground on the um, block on the left here. The blue wire, which is the NO basically from the uh, four channel pro goes to up which is indicated with the little arrow there, and the other blue wire goes to down. So basically, it's two controls. This one is doing the door up, and this one is doing the door down. So the blue wires that I've used goes up and down on this block. That will get power to the door. You'll be able to operate it up, and you'll be able to operate it down <clears throat> to use the door down button um, for it to go all the way without you having to hold it on the app when you download it you have to go into in inching set settings uh, i basically was timing the door how long it would take to go down with my finger on the button on the original settings and i think it was about 40 seconds so i gave it a couple of extra seconds and i used that in the app so now I can use these buttons for door up and door down. I've also wired in a light that I'm not talking about today. Uh, and then the fourth one's not used. So this will operate everything uh, through the app. You can also get it to um, do Alexa voice commands. And I can also now open the garage door and close the garage door with my Apple Watch or my phone. Uh, it's quite a clever little setup. Uh, I was pulling my hair out and I just hope this can help some people out there. If you have any questions, please ask and if I can answer them, I will try my very best. Thanks very much.